Welcoming a baby to the world is an exciting time for families, no matter the species. A recent birth at Como Park Zoo captured attention and had us wondering how many animals are born at the zoo? Good question. Jeff Wagner explains how a nationwide system ensures how they can breed and thrive. <laughs> we'll let them look. We got sick. <laughs> What do you see? Our interview clearly wasn't as important as the chance to see one of Como Park Zoo's newest residents, a yet to be named giraffe calf. So the baby giraffe is still off exhibit for a few days. She's bonding with her mama. Jill Ezrar is a senior zookeeper helping kids learn about wild animal parenting. Bonding that just means they're spending some time together. And helping us learn about zoo births in general. How often does a birth happen at the zoo? <laughs> I would say as far as mammals go, we usually have three to five big births. Before the giraffe, it was a snow leopard born in May named Willow. At the Como Zoo, how many of the animals that are at the exhibits were actually born here? So about half were probably born here. The other half that weren't born there likely entered the world at another zoo. Older research shows 90% of mammals and 74% of birds in zoos were born in captivity. We partner with all of the zoos within AZA, which is the Association of Zoos and Aquarium, and we, we collaborate with them and we look at species diversity, species genetics, and we really swap animals quite a bit. There are 238 facilities in the AZA, all working as a unified body. For example, Ruby the Bison was actually born at the Minnesota Zoo, but the 16-month-old now calls the Como Park Zoo home. Meanwhile, the new giraffe calf will head off to another zoo when she's a little older, around the time giraffe would search for a new herd in the wild. Giraffes usually don't breed until the age of like six or seven, and so they're saying, okay, where do we put this animal now at the age of one that when it is six, it will be successful in a breeding situation. There are 8,700 species of animals across all AZA facilities. We've had the baby on the back here. And within that massive number is a census of sorts determining which animals should be bred based on population. Gorillas, tigers, and snow leopards are just three of the hundreds of animals that have the green light to make babies. How often are the animals born in zoos released back into the wild? Um, so it really depends. There are a couple kind of flagship type species that we do that for. Typically, it's an animal near extinction, like the Wyoming toad. Como is actively growing the amphibian's population, then releasing them to their natural habitat. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News.